One of the prophets of this nation, not quoted enough, is the brilliant poet and prophet of Harlem by the name of Malcolm X. It is Malcolm X who stated, the chickens are coming home to roost. In that same speech, he also said that America has not yet learned from its history. The chickens are coming home to roost. If I were to place it within the framework of scripture, I would say you reap what you sow from Galatians. My version would be this nation will reap what it sows. This past week, we watched with utter horror as a mob of domestic terrorists, insurrectionists, broke all protocol, civic engagement, and breached the Capitol. Men and women of privilege, angry, because they have been drinking at the trough of resentment and lies because of the infection of a pandemic and American epidemic I call COVID-45. These insurrectionists of privilege that they will not acknowledge Individuals who never have ever had to tell their children, sit them down and have a talk about their encounters with the police. They have never had their intellect questioned, their bodies weaponized, nor have they ever had their citizenship interrogated. Because of the peculiar Aryan model that sits within their subconscious, they believe the stolen land they live on is their manifest destiny. What we witnessed this past week, chickens coming home to roost. We arrived at this place, yes, in 1619, but one must understand how we got here was not by a person, but by multiple people who have been complicit and are culpable for attacking democracy. It was Richard Nixon and Barry Goldwater who defined and strategized to create what we call the Southern strategy, fearful of black voters, brown and women and young voters who had a broader sense of what America can be. The Southern strategy was born to realign white voters in the South based on resentment and the advances of the civil rights movement. This strategy said that anyone does not, who does not fit the particular Aryan model that we have placed within your subconscious is nothing but a taker, not a true citizen, 
and is jumping the line ahead of you. These law and order politicians who crafted mass incarceration and offered tax breaks for the rich and manipulated their own constituency. And now, the Senate and the Congress attempting to certify the votes of a duly elected president and vice president were interrupted because of the infantile, narcissistic, racist, and ignorant rhetoric flowing from the person who has disgraced the office of the presidency. Chickens coming home to roost. What is so disturbing is that when you look at the response of the police, the ATF, the National Guard, the state police, the sheriff's department, and the Capitol Police, who are charged with protecting federal ground, it is radically different than the response to a peaceful protest of Black Lives Matter activists. Chickens coming home to roost. Can you imagine if a thousand BLM activists had the gall to vandalize the sacred civic space of the Capitol, the response would be radically different. Roll back the tape. When activists were in DC, peacefully, the response by federal authorities was radically different just so a man who doesn't know the Bible could hold up the Bible. Chickens coming home to roost. America is standing in between a moment of midnight, morning, or morning. It is dark in our democracy. And if we are to see a new morning, we need people who are rooted spiritually, have a moral compass, and have courage enough to not be silent for political purposes, but put themselves on the line and say that this nation is not for some, but for all. We watch chickens coming home to roost. I spoke with my father as we were watching the images. And he shared with me he had seen mobs like this when he was peacefully protesting in Atlanta for the right to vote. A mob gathered outside of the Georgia Capitol and decimated the streets and attacked one of the protesters attacked one of the people working with the Atlanta sit-in movement. He'd seen mobs like this when he was in Birmingham and Albany in Troop County. People who believe they had been wronged because they do not believe that each and every human being has full worth. And if the head of this snake is a narcissist who has done damage to our democracy 
and those who are giving him political cover because they refuse to speak with any courage. We have some difficult days ahead of us as a nation, but God will not be mocked. What we reap, we shall sow. We've seen the chickens coming home to roost. But if people of faith who are committed to transformation, we can witness the lion lying down with the lamb and our spears being beat into pruning hooks if we choose to follow a different model and a different leader. This is America. We saw, we witnessed chickens coming home to roost. Uh, his assassination was the result of the climate of hate. But only, I, only, only I said the chickens came home to roost, and which means the same thing. Uh, uh, climate of hate means that this is this is the result of something. And when I said chickens coming home to roost, I mean, uh, chickens coming home to roost, I said the same thing. Put knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches. There's no progress. Mm -hmm. You pull it all the way out. That's not progress. The progress is healing the wound that the blow that the blow made. And they haven't even begun to pull a knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, uh, you have they won't even admit the knife is there. <laughs>